We're back. Street Disciples Radio. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting it live, getting it popping. All right, we have our guest on the line right now. Let me pull her up. Listen, I'm already impressed at how bubbly this lady sounded uh, off air. She's bubbly every time I see her on TV when she's not doing a performance. Yeah, thing. very bubbly. Yeah. A lot of bubbles going on. <laughs> she is the lovely Miss Megan Good. Hi, Megan. We're good. We're good. What's going on with you? I am in uh, North Hollywood eating right now with the family and just having some chicken wings. Yay, hey, chicken wings. <laughs> Where you at? What chicken wing spot are you at, Megan? I can't tell you that. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> can you... yeah, no, I can tell you. I can tell you. I'm at Big Wings. And Bi- I, I actually just became a part owner in the Big Wings that's getting ready to open in Valencia. So um, we're kind of celebrating. Uh oh. Nice. Nice. Getting your side hustle now, on. Now, since you're a part owner of a uh, chicken shop, will you be bitching when niggas ask for extra hot sauce and ketchup? <laughs> I absolutely will not. I'll give them extra ranch. Give them extra oh, ranch. <laughs> this is my kind of chick right here. Yeah. Let me get my wings on, Megan. Don't hang on me. <laughs> so what's going on with you, love? Oh, man. This year has just been a blessing to me. Um... I just finished a movie called Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man with Kevin Hart and Siraji and uh, Michael Ely, just an amazing cast. And I just finished this next full season of Californication. It starts in January. Right. And uh, the film that I just produced, Video Girl, it, it had a theatrical release and now it's playing on BET and it's getting a lot of positive response. So I'm just thankful. God's been really good to me. All right, that that sounds beautiful, man. You sound very active and very hectic. Yeah. Can we start off with the with the movie here? Which yeah. one, Video Girl or no, Think Like a Man? No, 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 no. The other one, the Act Like a Woman, Think Like a Man, yeah. right? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, is this was this the the Steve Harvey? Didn't Steve? Yeah, that's the Steve Harvey book that was turned into a movie. This is being turned into a movie. The Steve Harvey book that was turned into a movie. Maybe. Yes. Now, uh, do, do you really subscribe to anything that this nigga Steve Harvey says? <laughs> you know what? I, I think that um, I think the book is very educational because I think a lot of women do need to think more like a man. I, think I agree. They tend to be clingy and emotional and nagging, and that's the kind of stuff that'll drive you know drive a guy away. But if you are focused on your business and you are able to provide for yourself, you're not looking for someone to provide for you, and you're able to operate as a male or woman should be, then I think you'll have a healthier relationship. Okay, so if if uh, men are going to think like men, and females are going to think like men, <laughs> where in the hell are all the chicks I know. At? <laughs> What's happening around here? I'm not getting There's it. no balance, huh, eight. No, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not no really balance. feeling this. I'll, I'll tell you what the balance is. It's human nature because no matter how much we think like a man, which I think is healthy, we're still going to be women. And we're still going to be sensitive. We're still going to, you know, have our moments. And we're still going to be feminine no matter what. Was Steve Harvey on set at the same time as you were at any point? No, but, but I mean, I know Steve. I did um, okay. uh, the Steve Harvey show, and I've done his radio shows a bunch of times. Right. And- All right, so here's my question. Uh-oh. Where's this going? <laughs> no, serious. This is a serious question. All jokes aside, Megan. Did he ever let you... Uh, Try on a flat top wig. He used oh to my god! A what? Did he ever let you try on a flat top wig that he used to rock around? Yeah, I don't man. know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you stunting ass, Megan. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Megan. Good answer, Megan. Good answer. <laughs> you ain't no, you ain't no say Steve. Here, let, let me see that for a second, man. Let's see what this look like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's what it is. I wanted to ask you something, Megan, because one of my favorite shows is Single Ladies. Now, there was a rumor going around that you would be taking Stacey Dash's place. I know you denied that rumor, but have they contacted you? Have you been talking to them or anything? Because I think you would be good in that role, to be quite honest with you. Well, here's the thing is, you know, I, I love TV. I had a blast doing the game. And I had a blast in telecommunication. But uh, I'm not ready to settle down just yet because when you settle into a TV show, you, you know your hours. You work five days a week. It, you know the character, and you potentially are on that show for five or six years. And so for me, right now, I still want to, you know, end up in Barcelona or in Atlanta or wherever and just kind of, you know, be a little bit of a hippie, which I am by nature. So 
uh, unless it was a show I was extremely passionate about and extremely in love with, I probably won't do a show as a regular character. Um, but I definitely am interested in doing like a, a character arc on single ladies or anything in that kind of thing. And they, and they kind of approached me about it a little bit and I hope that it'll manifest. I think the show is awesome. But in the same breath, I don't think um, Stacey Dash is replaceable. So I think that if, you know, if they do bring someone new on, I think they should make a new character. Because when people love someone, you know, it's hard to replace them. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's so sweet, Megan. Um, <laughs> He's so stupid. Yeah, Stacey, yeah, Stacey Dash is now irreplaceable. <laughs> you're such a nice chick, man. I mean... <laughs> No, that's a good thing. You are, yeah, you are yeah. nice. Yeah, man. you're a very nice girl. I, I'm, I'm gonna be Thank good, you. man. Yeah, yeah, you're a nice girl. So tell me about. Uh, let's talk about Californication real quick. Then we could get into a bunch of other stuff. And uh, I know you got popping. What's going on with Californication? Uh, Californication. I now I've never seen this, by the way. So you, I really, I, I'm asking. Is that was David Duchovny. It's with David Duchovny. Okay. I play okay. um his love interest, and I oh, also play Rizzo's oh. love interest. Now, is this a cable cable network just That's comes on? That's what, Showtime, yeah, right? Showtime. Oh. oh, so you able, do you, you don't get naked or nothing in this, right? Nope, I think I'm the first girl on the show to not show her boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I Dang. got away like a bandit. Right, right, right. I'm not mad at it, man. <laughs> so, you also let me know that you are, you know, the face behind a new product here. What, what, what product is this? Tell me about this new product Lusters. you have. Luster. You know what? Like, I grew up on Luster since I was a kid. I was using the pink hair lotion. The oh, hold on. Yeah, Luster is not new, hon. Listen, let me, let, me shut you, let me shut you down for one second. I got a secret uh-huh. to tell you. Nigga, I done rocked out with the goddamn pink hair lotion once upon a time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I used to have a goddamn uh, the chemical blowout, throw some pink hair uh, moisturizing lotion in my hair. Get that yeah. shit popping. Females used to love that shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. respect that. Right, right, right. So what are you doing with Luster? Um, I'm the face of uh, the the company right now. I'm right. uh, gonna be doing the um, the line that you've seen Keisha Cole do it. You've seen Latoya Lucky do it, and I'm basically the branding face in this season. And it's exciting for me because. Anything that's going to uplift us as black folks, anything where it's a black-owned company, it's probably one of two black-owned companies, and it's like, it's just a blessing. They're, they're also associated with a lot of different charities and foundations, and, you know, I'm all for the kids. I try to do a lot of mentoring and talk to girls in um, juvenile delinquent centers and foster kids and everything like that. So, all in all, it's something that's uplifting the community, uplifting us as black folks, and uplifting the kids, so I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Right. That's a good look. Listen, you, you, very. This is a very positive uh, person here. Yeah, Thank you. I, yeah, and I really, res- I really respect you. Now, uh, relationship wise, what's I your status? I was about to say, I want to be nosy. Who yeah. you dating, Megan? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> uh, I played the field. Ah, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's not that easy on this show. Come on, Megan. <laughs> yeah, it's not that easy. Is it another yeah. actor, a football player, or what? What's yeah. going on? No, neither. Neither, but you aren't single right now. You can't be single. Um, I'm seeing somebody. You're seeing somebody. Makes me very happy. Yeah. Is he a regular Joe? Um, I wouldn't say that. He's not regular to me. Oh, Aww, that's this, so cute! This, this, oh my gosh, she's I love it. Adorable, this I, girl. That is so cute. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm in love with her. Well, I should clarify. I mean, he's not in the industry. I know he's not regular. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I heard rumors that you were dating the game a while back. Is that true? No. The game? No. 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 Yeah, somebody, no I, I heard a rumor about that a while back. No, no. I've known Jason since before he was out at the game. And that's my boy. Got mad love for him. But no, definitely was never dating him at so, any point in time. Is it true that he was in the strip clubs, though? Or that's not true? <laughs> I, To be honest, I don't know. You don't know? I, I haven't seen him in about a year. But but to clear the record, I have not dated, nor am I dating, nor have I ever dated or anything with um, Tyga or Soldier Boy or Sean Kingston or anybody else they've said. Oh, wow. Yeah, just go through yeah. line and let us know, like, yeah. who you didn't date and who you did that's date. <laughs> but she, she didn't like... notice she didn't say that she never uh, dated me. Let's get it <laughs> That's the new rumor. Yeah, I'm, I'm knocking it down, folks. Uh, some days is better than others, but, you know, I stick with her because she's a, a real chick. Yeah. 
<laughs> you, you know what I, we were looking at the other day, Megan? Because it's talk of them doing another Friday movie with the original cast. And we were looking at you in the first Friday movie. Now, yes. are you excited about the thought of them getting like Chris Tucker back for another Friday? No. I would love that. I mean, I think if they do it right, I think they should go with the original director, F. Gary Gray, mm -hmm. and, you know, get back to its roots. I think it could be a great thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think people will definitely support it. But, yeah, that was my first little speaking role in a movie. I forgot my line about 20 times. Chris <laughs> turned around. What he was like, yo, he was like, it's your line. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was your line in the movie? I don't even remember. I know you was at the ice cream truck. Um, what was your line? I had to say, um, man, and then I had to, oh, this is a funny story. I had this whole other scene where I had to talk about, like, um, Ezel coming through my house and trying to rob us or whatever. And it got cut out of the movie, and my little feelings were so hurt. I was, like, 13 at the premiere. Aww. And I went over to Chris Tucker, and I was trying to, like, tell him what happened to me because he was, like, my big brother on set. And there was this kid in front of me, and every time I would lean over to try to get Chris's attention, this kid would elbow me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, dude, what's up? So then finally, after getting elbowed two or three times, I just pushed the kid, and he turned around, and it was Bush with Bill. Oh! And I was scared, because my sister told me oh, God. that polar people, will kill you. they have superhuman strength, and they'll kill you if you make them mad. So I was scared. That little thing was about to tear you to pieces, nigga. <laughs> Oh my back. god! Yeah, yeah, yeah she that's the funniest thing I heard in a while. Yeah, oh. she that nigga punch the concrete back in the day in the video. Yeah, yeah, he don't want me. Man, that was real blood. That is freaking hilarious. Yeah, but that's what it is. Listen, I also hear that you're doing something with music. What do you got popping with that? Um, I have a band. I I grew up in Valencia, California, so I was like, me and my sister were like one of two black families out there. So I grew up on, on mostly all rock music, ACDC, Axl Rose, that kind of thing. Right. So we, uh, me and my sister and my girl Amy, my girl Sterling put together kind of a punk rock band. Um, Hold on it now. Has a, a, it has a hip hop twist, like we rap, but we also sing. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean we rap, but we also sing? Are you all four are, of us. Oh, so you're in the group. You're not managing or anything like that. No, you're in the group. I do, I do have a little a group that I'm managing that I'm I'm uh, getting them ready to be like, you know, very close to what Destiny's Child was. Four little girls, they're um, 15 and 16, and they're incredible. Right. Um, called Little Miss. But with my group, we're called the Hello Girls. And, uh, yeah, I'm in that group. Oh, <laughs> Megan. Yeah, because your sister was in a group before. My sister was in ISIS. Okay, um, that's the name of the group. That's right. ISIS. But oh. She's also doing her solo music now. She's got a single that's getting ready to come out.